Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We'll be following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They invite us into their lives, at home and as they undergo treatment. Meet 11-year-old Maisie. Hello. Maisie lives with her mum, dad, brother and dog Poppy. She has celiac disease. It means that you can't have gluten, which is wheat, barley, rye, malt and oats. And as a result, Maisie is unable to eat everyday food such as bread, pasta and pizza. If I eat gluten, I end up getting the runs, I get sharp stomach pains, I feel sick and I just basically want to lie in bed and go to sleep. Maisie is so sensitive to gluten that everything food-related has to be separated to avoid her coming into contact with it. So I have my own ketchup and butter to make sure that no cross-contamination goes on there. We've started doing a lot more home cooking and baking since I've been celiac. So we make gluten-free chicken nuggets. We grated frozen gluten-free loaf and then we put it onto the chicken. It's lots of fun. Luckily for Maisie, there are also special gluten-free versions of some of her favourite takeaway foods. So we're watching a film and I've got a gluten-free pizza and Jess has a normal pizza because she's normal. So we're enjoying our sleepover. Find out how I get on next time. Bye! <laughs>
gone up at quite a steep hill so we're just under 64 so I can't eat oats which I'm pretty disappointed about. Maisie's done well keeping an eye on her diet so far but there's a little bit more work to do. See you later, bye! <laughs> Meet Ruby, Hayden, Holly and Tolla. We'll be following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They've given us exclusive access to their lives as they undergo treatment. Let's meet our first outpatient, Ruby. Hello, Ruby. These are my dogs. That one right there at the door is Bo. Hi, Bo. And the one right in the back is Kuko. Ruby has leukaemia, a type of cancer which means she has too many white blood cells. As well as having lots of hospital visits, she's also been receiving chemotherapy at home for nearly a year. Today is Tuesday and today Trisky and the home care lady and she did my dressing. As you can see, it's been changed. Ruby has regular chemo, sometimes as much as four times a week. Hello, good morning, Martha. How are you, gorgeous? Today, Nurse Donna is going to give her a series of injections which helps treat the leukaemia. I'm going to administer some chemotherapy through a central line. So we're just setting up all our syringes um, and all the equipment that we need. In case you're wondering what a central line is, it's a tube with a connection at one end for a syringe, while the other end goes into the veins by Ruby's heart. This is my line and they put chemo through it in, instead of having injections all the time. And with this, it has to go in over about three to five minutes. Chemo makes me feel really tired. As well as having all these treatments at home, Ruby also has to go to the hospital regularly. Each time I go to hospital and I have treatment, I get a bead. Yellow is overnight sleeps, the white is for chemo, and these little ones here are just for bravery. My favourite is this one, for losing your hair. Wow, Chris, Ruby has hundreds of beads. Yes, Aunt, and soon she'll be getting another one as she has a hospital visit coming up. Find out how I get on next time. Bye! Bye, Ruby! <laughs> Meet Ruby, Hayden, Holly and Tolla. We're following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They've given us exclusive access to their lives as they undergo treatment. Ruby has leukaemia, a type of cancer, which means she has too many white blood cells. Last time we saw Ruby having a treatment called chemotherapy at home. Chemotherapy is a medicine which kills cancer cells. But not everything can be done at home. Today, I am going on an adventure. What? To a tropical island. Really? No, she's pulling your leg. Ruby's come to hospital. When I first came in, they said, you'll always be in room 12. Really? Yeah. Oh, room 12 it is. She's here for a lumbar puncture. A small needle is put into Ruby's lower spine to give her a dose of chemotherapy to protect her spinal fluid and brain from cancer cells. The treatment is helping to fix Ruby, but she has to deal with some tricky side effects. This is Ruby a year ago. Now steroid medicine has made Ruby's face temporarily swell up and the chemotherapy has made her lose her hair. You still look great, Ruby, but it will grow back. Bon and she's at risk of getting an infection, so Ruby has other treatments to keep her healthy. What's happening now, Ruby? We are near the end of our transfusion. This is a top-up of healthy blood. And what's the yellow stuff, Ruby? Custard. Custard? Really? Yummy. No, she's got you again. This is a bag of platelets. And they are for repairing scabs. So if I didn't have this, and I had a cut, it wouldn't repair very quickly. Two weeks of treatment later, Ruby has some news. I don't know whether you can see, but my hair is coming back. Well, that's brilliant, Ruby. Uh, so that's a good day for you? Yeah. So you must be feeling very pleased. Yeah. Good. And I'm wondering if we should uh, replace old doctors on with you. You get on some green scrubs, we could uh, sort you out with the job. Oi! Okay. Think about that, Dr. Zand. Yeah. Thanks, Ruby. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon, Ruby. 